Hermitage's behavior. Bill is the CEO of Hermitage Capital Management and author of Red Notice, which is all about his experience in Russia. And he joins me now from London. Uh, Bill, it's great to have you with us with all these developments happening. Um, first of all, describe for our viewers, if you will, what your interest is in this investigation and why you have filed or are planning to file a criminal complaint against Danska Bank in Denmark. What are you accusing the bank of? Well, so it all comes back to the murder of my lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky. Sergei Magnitsky was a Russian lawyer who worked for me in Russia. He uncovered a $230 million government corruption scheme. He exposed it, and in retaliation, he was arrested, tortured, and killed um, eight and a half years ago at the age of 37, leaving a wife and two children. I've been on a mission to get justice for Sergei Magnitsky, which has led me to look for who got the benefit of the $230 million crime that he exposed and was killed over. We've been investigating it, my team and I, for the last eight and a half years, and we've discovered that a lot of that money flowed to Dansky Bank's Estonian branch. And my interest in this whole story is that I don't want anybody who was involved in the laundering of the funds that killed Sergei Magnitsky to get away with it. And so um, I and my team have filed criminal complaints in Denmark, in Estonia, which has led to the opening of a criminal case. And, and the criminal cases or the criminal complaints that we filed has metastasized into this big discovery. And, mm -hmm. um, and now we're, we're effectively facing the largest money laundering scandal in the history of Europe through Dansky Bank. So it is still a question exactly how much of uh, those funds that went through Estonia were considered suspicious transactions. And I know that you have said it is $8.3 billion. Um, Bill, what proof do you have of that? And do you have evidence tying that back to specific individuals and entities in Russia that you've been looking at related uh, to the death of Mr. Magnitsky? Yeah, so in addition to the um, criminal complaints that we filed in, in Estonia and Denmark, um, we filed criminal complaints in about 26 countries, and there are now 15 live money laundering investigations connected to the murder of Sergei Magnitsky and the money laundering of that case. And from that, those criminal investigations, and particularly one in France, we've been able to get documents from a subset, not the whole, whole account, but a subset of the um, Dansky Bank uh, transactions, and from that subset, we've determined that $8.8 .8 billion of suspicious transactions went through Dansky Bank. And it went through Dansky Bank on its way to other countries, including the United Kingdom, where I am right now, France, Germany, Spain, and other places. And as a result of those um, transfers, there are cases open in those countries looking into the purchases of houses, of chartering of yachts, uh, private planes, et cetera. What else do you want to know with regards to Dansky's Estonia branch's role in all of this? And do you believe that this was just a lack of due diligence and understanding um, who their clients were, were and where the money was coming from? Or are you alleging further malfeasance? Well, it, and the report that came out today from Dansky Bank itself, from, it, from its own uh, internal lawyers, showed that in 2007, um, Dansky Bank was warned by the Russian Central Bank that money going through this Estonian subsidiary was from the proceeds of crime. And so with this whole, the whole problem started in 2007, or at least became a, the bank became aware in 2007, but they carried on for eight years, and according to these numbers, $234 billion flowed through the bank after they were made aware that this was bad money coming from Russia. So this was not just a failure to do due diligence. There were a lot of people profiting from this, and those people didn't want the flows to stop. So the CEO, Thomas Borgen, has resigned, Bill. What else do you think should happen from here? Well, we, we've asked the Estonian and the Danish prosecutors to investigate the CEO, the people around him, and the employees that were responsible for these transfers for to see what their criminal liability is. I don't know what he knew or what he didn't know, but that's for the law enforcement agencies to determine. Bill Browder, uh, thank you so much for joining us with your insights on this case. We'll continue to follow the developments, of course.